even with no background to support him, Nathan Forrest became rich and a successful plantation owner. Nathan Forrest was born on July 13, 1821, in Chapel, Tennessee. He was the eldest son in his family. As the head of the house, Nathan Forrest traded horse, cattle, and farms. In 1842, he moved to Memphis, Tennessee to learn business from his uncle. There he engaged in slave trade. Forrest expended his fortune by joining with his uncle Jonathan's stable and house trading business. At the age of 24, he married Mary Ann Montgomery and settled in Hernando, Mississippi. With the money he earned from his business, especially slave trade, Nathan Forrest bought plantations in Arkansas and Mississippi. Nathan Forrest earned a total of $1.5 million from his plantation and slave trading. Nathan Forrest was kind but strict man. He never separated family members, even let his own slave choose his own master. He preferred to call his slaves servants, and there were some men in the town to whom he would never sell slaves because they had the reputation of being a cruel master. Forrest was kind to his Negroes, that he never separated members of a family, and that he always told the slaves to go out into the city and choose their own masters. There is no instance of any slave taking advantage of the permission to run away. There were some men in the town to whom he would never sell a slave because they had the reputation of being cruel masters. Carter had a lot of things in common. They both owned a large amount of plantation and owned a lot of slaves. They made great fortunes on slave trading and became successful at early age. They were also at very well respected posts. Modern day connection. There are still illegal slave trading going on in the world. People get kidnapped or is sold to slavery every day. My guy was also a slave trader who sold and bought many slaves. He earned a lot of money, but brought tragedy to other families.